Hi, I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a track that sounds like this. To sound like this. All by using Slate VMR and Slate FGX. What I'm gonna to do today is to master a track inside of Studio One. The first thing I'm gonna do is to copy over Virtual Mix Rack into my master fader. And what I'm gonna do is to load in Air EQ. I think this mix could do with a little bit more top end and the Air EQ is really good at doing that. So all we need to do is just to give it one and a half dB, possibly two dB, let's have a listen. Let's bypass it and bring in. So that's added just a taste of top end EQ. Now the next plugin that I'm gonna bring in is Slate FGX. Now this is one of my go-to mastering processes. If you want something that's quick and easy to use, but sounds really good, then this is the plugin to go for. So what we've got here, we've got two modules. We've got the top module, which is basically a bus compressor, and the second module, and you can think of that as a limiter. So what we're gonna do first of all is to look at the top module, which is a bus compressor. Let's turn it on. Let's give it a ratio of about two to one. And let's bring the threshold back. Right, I'm gonna speed up the release. Let's make it as fastest. And let's slow down the attack just a little bit. Give it a little bit more threshold. And let's bypass it. And bring him. Let's bring back the attack just a little bit. Now I'm happy with the bus compression. Let's bring in the FG level. Right, what I'm gonna do first of all is to bring the gain up. As you can see, I'm just peaking just over minus one. And that's how I like it to sound. I don't think we wanna go any further than that at the moment. Let's bypass it. and bring in. Now one of the strengths of the FG level is just how transparent it is. So you can't perceive any squashing of transients like you can in some other limiters. So that's why I really like this one. Right, let's turn up the low punch just a little bit. And just give it a bit of detail. So I'm gonna switch in the constant gain monitoring and that's gonna show us how much the plugin is affecting the signal at the same level as what I'm putting in. Let's try that. And bring it in. This ITP control here, which stands for Intelligent Transient Preservation, we don't really wanna to touch, we wanna to leave that where it is. Then you build me up like thunder to bring me down, bring me down. And let's just bring in a little bit more dynamic perception. So let's bypass the whole plugin. And bring in. I love this plugin because it gives my mix some punch and definition, but it's still transparent enough so I can hear the original mix through it. I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. I hope you guys got something out of that and I'll see you next time. Cheers.